Hello everybody. Welcome back to Felsbrunn with me, Golf Cart Jockey. We are back on top of the mountain at the Chicken Racing Emporium, how about it? We picked up all the boxes over there um, just to see if they respawned at the same rate they were. The chicken, the egg count never went up, but uh, that's because they're top secret racing chicken eggs. That's why the counter never goes up. I figured it out. Um, there's a, that's a that counter is made for regular chicken eggs, and that's just not what we're dealing with here. So, until uh, we upgrade our counter, I guess it'll stay at zero. Um, but that's all right. That's a good problem to have. Got those super eggs. Uh, what we're going to do today is Farmer Min is going to make some TMR for his cows, and he needs silage bales and he needs hay bales. So we're going to take our bale spike out here. Oh no! Don't do that. It's a little aggressive there, sorry. Grab our bale spike and run over here, pick up the bale trailer, and we have 16 silage bales ready to go. He asked for 16 silage bales and 32 hay bales. So I guess he's gonna make a big old pile of uh, power food for the cows down there. So we're gonna help him out, make a little money for us. Excuse us, nobody saw that. Uh, let's see, we'll go grab go grab the trailer first to come back and get these two that we left in the road. Do a little extra swerve in there. Just for good measure. And it's a good thing we own the sawmill here. They'd probably get upset about us leaving the trailer here otherwise, but <laughs> what are they going to say, right? Not a very popular place from what we've noticed either. Doesn't seem to be any work going on, so... I don't think we're interfering with anything. Let's go sneak back over here and get these two out of the road. I think I had my count wrong and I ended up wrapping 17 instead of 16. So that's why I went and got the bail fork. We will, if that's the case, we will take Mr. Min a freebie. Uh, I know we will puncture the, the wrapping on the silage with the, the bail fork, but hopefully he, he can make it work because he's going he's gonna to be making it right away. So... Yeah, I think it'll be just fine. Go pick these up, run them down the hill. Then when we come back, we have to we have to mow field four and five, and we have to ted it real quick. Um, he needs we're gonna have to make 32 hay bales, so gonna need a little bit of grass over there, or a little bit of hay, I should say. Um, I don't want to do the whole field in hay, so what I'll do is mow it all. And then we will ted probably a half of it or a third of it and see how many bales we get off of it. That way we don't, uh, the rest we can just wrap into silage or put in our bunker over there. So we don't want to do all of it in hay. I think somebody told me that you cannot wrap hay bales anymore and turn them into silage. It has to be grass. So if that's the case, then we definitely don't want to, you know, waste half a field on and not make as much money as we could, you know. So, yeah, we'll do that. That'll be, we'll get Mr. Man taken care of, get what he needs, and then we will get back to plowing. We're going to plow this field right here and plow field one and two over there. We'll get, uh, I think Ricky White's coming to help us. We'll get him started on it. And we can move over. I think I'm going to try to mow between us and the railroad tracks over there down from the sawmill it's a nice little stretch of ground down through there and free grass you know so I might do that while uh, Ricky is is working on the plowing part as I've said before it's no, no stranger uh, I mean no secret that uh, I don't care for the plowing as much as as some of the other jobs so I try to avoid that one at all costs so, Ricky said he would be kind enough to come do it for us, and I am more than willing to let him do it. So, yep, I was right. Got one, one too many bales there. Okay, just went right through it, didn't it? That's odd. Um, 
So. I mean, it wrapped it. I can stand on it. But it doesn't give me the the pickup symbol. That's weird. I'm so gun shy now on this map. Whenever something like that happens, I, I just wait for the disconnect to come up. I wait to get kicked. But uh, hmm. we were going to take him a freebie. Let's try it again. It doesn't register for the tractor, the bales, the forks. We just drive right through it. That's very odd. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Not after it got wrapped. It's like a ghost bale. It's really weird. I can't. I can't just drive off and leave it. What are we going to do? We can't leave it in the field. That'll drive me nuts if that thing's sitting there all the time. Doesn't seem to be underground. Just like the trigger for it moved. And it's weird that I stand on it still. Check this out. So I'm up on it. Who knows? Well, so much for being a nice guy, I guess. So much for a, a free bail. And maybe it'll come around and we can still take it down on one of the other loads. Not the end of the world, I guess. We'll have to... We'll figure something out. It's just weird that... It went through the wrapping process. Maybe somehow when it unloaded from the uh, bail wrapper? I don't know. Not sure there. Not sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. I hope it doesn't matter. <laughs> I hope it's not a big deal. Let's take these down. I know these are fine. We'll get these unloaded down for Mr. Men. And come back and jump on the mowers. Um, we'll, we'll get uh, Ricky started on the plowing. And we will jump on the mowers. And maybe take the third tractor and follow with the tether. So... Get a little work done this afternoon. Oh, goodness. Here he goes. A little, a little out of hand. Don't mind me. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this should be a fun ride over the mountain. Let's keep this going. And, uh... Oh, I forgot. I wonder where he's going to make... Yeah, I'm used to going to his old farm. I'm not used to going to his new place over over on the beach. To figure out where he wants these things, I bet he doesn't want them at the old barn or the old uh, cow pen. I'll have to go see where the cows are. We'll be able to find it, I'm sure. I'm sure. Picking up some good lag here too. I hope that doesn't have anything to do with our bale up there. The things got me concerned. Take out a take out my aggression on a couple road signs on the way down through here. Makes me feel better. So, hmm. yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. That's, geez, it's after lunchtime now. If we can get the 32 bales of hay done this afternoon, that'll be a good, good day's work. I think we'll call it. A, oh, look, somebody went out through his field. He was calling me out for somebody driving through mine. What happened there? Of course, it is just harvested cotton, so not like it hurt anything, but still. Somebody took a shortcut for sure. Let's see if the cows are still over here. Well, it's the old horse paddock there. I don't see any signs of activity here. Looks like everything's packed up and moved out. All right. Well, let's keep going over to see if we can find Miss Sophie's place. Pretend like we don't know where it's at. I do know it's on the beach somewhere. Let's 
somewhere over here. Maybe this way. Oh, excuse me. Watch out. Crazy man coming through. Yeah, it's got to be this way, right? We're just going to make up a road when we get over here. Pretty sure this road doesn't take us where we need to go, but... Oh, yeah, I do remember. It is way down off that hillside over there. Can we get down and field it? Uh, is this field six? Whoa. Sixteen, yeah. Yeah, we'll sneak down the side of field sixteen here. It's got nice and nice and limed up in there. Needs to get the weeder out. Gonna be a good looking field when it gets it done. It's a pretty good size on that thing. Let's see, somebody else has been jumping the train tracks here too. We'll do it like won't say nothing to anybody. Hide in his tracks there. Nobody will mind. All right, now where does he want these things? Oh man, look at this operation. I haven't been down here to check this out yet. I've always met in town. Nice. Let's see, I think this is the way in. There's the cows down there. Hmm. There's a cotton bale sitting there. Nice, big old bale. Oh, here's some straw bales. Let's jump out of here. That looks like a straw. That's hay. And that's straw. So, I guess we will pull these up beside the straw. And the other hay we'll bring down and put... I don't know. We'll send him a text. See if he wants them beside the hay that he already has. Or if he wants everything out here where he can get to it easy to make make his TMR with so we'll have to figure out where he wants the rest of them but there's our first part of the deal get those dropped off for him Oop, got a little hill there oh, nice got a fuel tank looking good I wonder if I can I'm gonna borrow a few gallons of fuel here oh gas station diesel start. Oh, look at that. We can get fuel here. It's pretty neat. And it charges us. I was kind of hoping it would charge for our men, but that's alright. I guess we'll pay for what we took. No big deal. So, there we go. Quite a setup he's got here. Let me get back to the top of the mountain and get a bunch of hay made. And we will uh, we'll see about bringing some more hay down to this guy. See if we can get him taken care of this afternoon get back to get back to doing our work so we'll catch up with you in a minute all right our magic silage bale is still over there so we'll just leave it alone for a little bit I guess we still got uh, I'm not sure how far that rear mower goes over we still got a bunch to do so um, I can't yeah <laughs> make sure I'm not missing that drive me nuts but yeah we got plenty to do we got uh, we got to mow this field got to get it tetted and we got to get 32 bales made and delivered so uh, we can worry about that pink bale a little bit later we'll deal with that when it comes but right now we got plenty to do this afternoon so um, we're trying to talk Miss Sophie into selling us the BGA I know that she owns it, uh, her family owns it, or something like that. But we're we're trying to make an offer to her and Farmer Men. See if, uh, you know, I'm sure we can use it a little more than they're using it. And, and I think they could probably use the money, too, so. Um, to help finance his uh, uh, cotton operation that he's got going on down there. I know that was a, a tough money maker for him right off the bat, so. Um, hey, I made an offer. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll look at it. Maybe they'll take it. Maybe not. But it's all we can do. 
that's all we can do. So, but if that does happen, then yeah, we will uh, probably abandon the bales for a little bit and and just sell silage out of the bunker. Even if not our bunker, then you know maybe transport it to the to the BGA. But hey, we need a BGA first. So until that happens, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I do know that we have forty-six thousand liters in here right now. That. I'm gonna do something with um, maybe we could pick it up with a loading wagon maybe I think that's a thing now I think the loading wagon will pick up silage so we'll have to see um, maybe we could scoop it up with that and not have to get a front loader or, or do it with this little 2,000 liter bucket we have on here that would take a while uh, it'd be a whole lot quicker if we could just pull the loading wagon through there and and drop the pickup down and scoop it all back up that would be great um, hopefully hopefully that's a thing I swear somebody I read it somewhere or I saw it somewhere or, yeah or I'm just delusional either way you never can be too sure but <laughs> let me uh, yeah let me sit in here and ponder my delusions and and figure out how best way to get this uh, Get this field cut so we'll get to work on that see what we're gonna do I don't know if I should go up and down this way or back and forth side to side but doesn't really matter either way we got I don't, can't see him over there but our good friend Ricky White is plowing uh, or not plowing I'm sorry cultivating fields one and two uh, he fertilized them yesterday or this morning actually yeah before lunch he got them fertilized now he's cultivating them so they'll be ready to seed maybe we can do that this afternoon um, things are looking good and as soon as he gets done over on one and two we were gonna hook him up to the plow and we're gonna gonna turn all the grass under on field three so yeah big plans big plans up here on the mountain hopefully we can start making big money we like big money that sounds like the beginning of a rap song right there, doesn't it? We like big money and we cannot lie. <laughs> See, I told y'all I was a rapper. Y'all didn't know that. Y'all didn't believe me. But, yeah. All right. Let me do this for a little bit. Um, go ahead and get it tetted. And then we will see about delivering some hay bales. So, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, let's give this another try. We, <laughs> um, I saved that clip. I hope we can see. Maybe we can figure out what happened. But um, yeah, we just kind of fell through the map, and my baler disappeared, and my tractor was missing. I had to reset it. Um, had to reset it to the store, and like I say, the baler was just gone. The baler, it said I didn't own the baler anymore, so, um, I had to buy it again. I had to, I had to purchase a new baler, so I don't know where that thing went, but it is out of here. She is gone. So, let's try again. Make some more hay bales for, uh, farmer men down there. Hopefully it goes a little smoother this time. That was, uh... That was interesting, for sure. We just not only did my vehicles fall through the map, but it kicked me out of the vehicles, and I was standing halfway down the mountain road. Like, just <laughs> that was kind of odd. I didn't know what was going on. I had to run back, to, run around to see, uh, you know, find a landmark so I could see where I was. <laughs> it was crazy. But hey, it's all good. We're still here. We got uh, farmer men reloaded the game for us, so. We made sure we could get back in and load up and everything's fine so uh, oh the uh, ghost bale the ghost silage bale over there came back so we'll be able to deliver that down to men when we go down to take the hay bales so yeah not all bad we did get some good things out of it so yeah all in all pretty good day pretty good day now I have to think about uh, 
We're radio stars now. We gotta start planning for our next radio show, so. You guys tell me who you think we should put in there. Tell some stories about some uh, crazy farmers that we've met. We've got we got a few. We don't know where to start. We've got uh, quite a list. So, yeah, let me know what you think. But, first we got to get all these hay bales done. I feel like I got enough hay. Uh, I'm definitely going to count these bales and collect them all before we go tedding any more hay. We're going to try to keep that to a minimum for sure. So I think eh, two, two loads is 32 bales. We're going along pretty good. I think we're going to do it. So anyways, let me take care of this. Um... Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think that's a good place to call it an episode. We uh, got a lot accomplished. We'll get the bales up and ready and take them down either this afternoon or take them down first thing in the morning to farm them in. Maybe he can uh, give us a little loot for them. Pad the old bank account there, so that'll be good. I think that's a plan. We'll, uh, we'll handle that next time. So, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I am Golf Cart Jockey, and I want you to have a good day.